So the Champions League finals last night, I had a night to recover. And it was uh, Karius's two mistakes that cost us the, uh, the final. And I've got, I've got one thing to say to you, Karius. Keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. Stop crying. Let your teammates console you. Alright, you've done really well for us this season. Forget what all the haters say. Forget what all the all the biased Madrid fans, United fans, City fans, Everton fans. Forget what they all say. You listen to me, alright? You've played so well this season. You're not going to let it... You're not going to let your career be thrown away now. You're going to make yourself stronger over the summer. You're going to train harder. And you'll be back next year. So forget what all they, what all them say. Because you're a really good goalkeeper. And it was just really unfortunate mistakes that cost us the game. It wasn't it wasn't his fault at all. It was just rotten, rotten luck. The first one to Benzema, he just didn't see him. He threw it out, he just didn't see him. You know, what? that could happen to anyone. And the third one, alright, fair enough. He should have saved it, but... Obviously the ball was moving. He tried his best. He got two hands behind it, which is good, but... um. Just didn't didn't get his body behind it too, and you know that's just that that one is poor goalkeeping, but that's just the way it is, all right. We we were two on down anyway, to be fair, but you know the scenes at the end of them crying is just not what you want to see, and there'll be a lot of people absolutely roasting him about it, and I'm not one of them. I think he's done well. The saves he was making early in the match, at half time, I was going to give him man of the match because some of those saves, and especially that header from Ronaldo, he had to—he dived before he headed it. He had to anticipate it, it was going to come that quickly, and he did it to perfection. And then of course Benzema was offside for the rebound. Brilliant work from Carius. Made some great saves throughout actually. But it was just—it was just a massive shame about those two mistakes. And if in the summer he can just get these kind of mistakes out of his game, out of his system, then he'll be a world-class goalkeeper. And he's still only young, he's still got loads of time, so hopefully this doesn't, you know, affect him too much in the summer. Hopefully he can still work hard and he can still be at Liverpool's, um, one of Liverpool's main goalkeepers next season. And even if we do sign a new one, hopefully he can be competition, because I don't want Carriers to go down the toilet now. He's played so well this season. He's got us to this Champions League final. He's got the most clean sheets of any goalkeeper. So he needs to keep his head up and work hard in the summer. All right, forget what everyone else is saying. You you concentrate on your own work, and you you're gonna do well. All right. Just just forget just forget everyone else. He's he's, he's a great goalkeeper. And in 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 the game, I'm not gonna get mad because I'm so proud of the players. They tried their absolute hardest. You look at the defenders. Not one of them let themselves down. In fact, the whole team. Not one of them let themselves down. Like if you look at these defenders, Robertson with that incredible slide tackle on Ronaldo, Trent Alexander Arnold with his runs down the wing. He nearly scored if it wasn't for a magnificent save from Navas after the deflection. And then Van Dijk, he made a really important clearance in the box and a uh, half slide tackle on Ronaldo where he took his legs back so Ronaldo couldn't die. Very smart from him. Lovren made some great clearances and tackles in the box too. They all played really, really well in defence. Midfield, I think we just lacked a bit of creativity most of the time. Henderson was struggling to get it forward. Milner was um, giving the ball away a bit. Wijnaldum managed to run forward a bit, but, you know, that's the way it is. And then, um, of course, it was, it was uh, Salah. Salah's injury. That's what that's what really cost us the game, even more than Carius's mistakes. Salah's injury. Because that absolutely deflated the whole team. For the first half an hour, we were better than Real Madrid. And then with that that you know, that cheating Ramos pinning his arm down, he knew exactly what he was doing. It wasn't any accident at all. He had his arm pinned down and he thought, oh, I'll throw my weight onto his other shoulder. And hopefully one of them will be injured. And it was. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. He could be out of the World Cup now because of you. And then, and then you got money books later on as well. Yeah, I hope you're proud of yourself. You enjoy that Champions League trophy. Yeah? And cheating last year as well with Quadrado. Nah, it, he's, he's unbelievable. Right, fair enough, he's a good defender, but... He needs to get rid of that out of his game. He needs to stop acting like that. Stop cheating his way to glory. Injuring Salah. Trying to get... Well, you got, got money books. It's, it's ridiculous. It's Ramos. And he got Salah. And then, of course, I deflated the whole team. And then, going into half-time, Klopp had to try and you know, rejuvenate the side. And he couldn't do it. We conceded early into the... Um, the second half. But the character we showed... The character we showed shows a lot. It shows that the players have a lot to give it. They have become so much stronger under Klopp, mentally. The character we showed, coming back straight away from that goal, trying our best to the very last whistle. You know, Mane played exceptionally well. He filled the boots of Salah well. Lallana, not so much. Firmino couldn't get as, as involved, but Mane played well. He, he got involved with the game. And 
you know, Manny, Manny tried to fill Salah's place as best he could, and he, he did a really good job. But the character we showed, you know, the mental strength, that is what's important to get out of this game. Because we will be back next year. We've qualified. We did not let the Premier League slip, so we're in it again next year. We're going to we're gonna absolutely destroy any opposition that comes against us next year. We're going we're gonna to do well with, with this mental side and strengthening in the summer. But it's, um, it's with the quick, the players really crying at the end, like the likes of Henderson, the likes of Lovren, of course, carriers. It shows what it means to them. It clearly means a lot. And these are, these are tough players for 90 minutes. Obviously, at the end, the emotion comes out. But it means so, so much to these players. I'm sure they'll be back next year, challenging, you know, getting to the quarters, the semis, maybe even the final again. You know, these players will be back next year with the Jurgen Klopp effect. I've got every faith in them to do it. Hopefully, Carriers can come back stronger. And his confidence isn't destroyed. Hopefully, Salah can do well in the World Cup. Hopefully, he's not out for that. And so, the rest of them, just keep doing what you're doing. Just play play some you know, even, even better football. Just strengthen as much as you can. And I'm sure we'll be back to get the glory next year. So, it's not just down... It's not just, like, looking down at these these times. You know, we've got we've to look forward. We've got to look forward. We've got we've to put the work in over the summer. And then we can challenge again next year. You know, and that's what this is all about. It's a learning curve. That's what it's all about. Okay? So we won't get too down over this. Because we know we'll be back. And maybe even win it in the next few years. Alright? So I suppose that's it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the final. Do you think that I'm being fair to Carrius and the rest of the scene? Um, and yeah, adios.